by myself. So, all right, let's go. I always do probably BB cream first. I think uh, my daily makeup, I would just use a concealer or, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Are you cereal? It's good. It's good that I didn't do it. You know why? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Cause I gotta I gotta shape my eyebrows, man. It's it's been so long. Mine's so long. So how I usually do it is I just get a brush and I just brush it, you know? If it grows out this way, I do it this way. If it grows out this way, I do it this way. And my hair is growing down this way, so I do it like down like that. Whichever your eyebrows are kind of you know, going, just follow that. And then I kind of get the scissors and I kind of know what shape I want because I always do straight one eyebrows. So I don't really have a huge arch. So I'm just gonna make sure that I cut the bottom part like that. Mm -hmm. And just trim that. Don't you love it when it goes I love that feeling. Well, anyways, and then I just get the brush and I make sure I get it off. And then, oh, I love this. I got this. Uh, ta -da! I got this. Do you guys hear that? My mic is here still. So. You guys hear that? Uh huh. It, it vibrates, so I think it uh, gives less stimulation to your skin. Go right ahead. And get all the hair out. Woohoo! I, I heard. Oh, you're not supposed to do it this way, but uh, the opposite direction. Be quiet. The uh, opposite direction of your hair growing. So like that, and I would do it like that. Oh, and a little bit of mustache, huh? Mm hmm. Cause you know, let's be honest, it comes out. I have a mustache sometimes, you know? So for me, like thankfully I don't have too much, it's not too dark. So I just sometimes cut this just aside a little bit, but I did get the laser thing where you actually like permanently remove your hair. And my, sen my skin was so sensitive, darn it. Um, it like, it made me break out. Like everything was like red and it was just really bad. So um, I heard there's a new machine that you can do it at home and it's like a hair removal machine. So I'm gonna really try that out pretty soon. I'm gonna get that. For eyebrows, I have to use a brush and another VDL um, eyeshadow that I have. I used a lot of this. It's Think Coffee. This is a brighter color. After I dyed my hair, it fit my um, skin perfectly. And I'm just gonna do you see that? It's just like easy for me because I, I have really, um, I have a lot of eyebrows. I have bushy eyebrows. So for me, honestly, it's not as hard as other, you know, friends who do not have eyebrows or their hair is not as bushy, should I say? Or that does not come out as much. I just kind of go with how already, you know, natural it looks. I just go with the shape itself. So it's like kind of the pictures are already there and I'm kind of outlining it or coloring on top of it, you know? And this eyeshadow color is really light, so no matter if I mess up or put a lot, it's, it's fine. Fill it in. When I first learned how to draw eyebrows, my makeup artist told me just to think like you're filling in the empty spots, you know? Empty places. So fill it in, fill it in. And the front part is always tough because for me, like, this eyebrow has a lot of front hair, but this eyebrow doesn't have much front hair. So you know how your eyebrows grows this way and this eyebrow goes like that? So an uh, easy way is pretend like you're actually drawing each eye hair, eye hair, <laughs> each hair like this. So like, t -t 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 like that. So that's much easier in the front. Cause in the front you're kind of like, oh, how do I draw that, you know, naturally. I wanted to do kind of like a straight eyebrow uh, because I don't know, I just felt like it. <laughs>